Is there any progress over this recess on coming up with an agreement on a deal for Ukraine? Well, Andrea, this this underscores the urgency of getting uh, the Ukrainian people uh, the assistance and the military equipment they need uh, to defend themselves against uh, Putin's aggression. One of the things President Zelensky stressed when he was uh, before the Senate was the need for more air defenses. Um, and we see exactly why that's necessary now. Uh, the talks have been ongoing with respect to border security, uh, something President Biden has pushed for for a long time, as well as immigration reform uh, issues. Uh, but linking these two issues, uh, providing Ukrainians the help they need against Putin um, and the border security issues, uh, I fear um, is going to mean that we don't get the Ukrainians the, the equipment they need when they need it. We need to deal with both the issues, uh, but tying them together in this way, uh, I think has been harmful. Uh, we are working to try to resolve it. And what about resolving the government shutdown? There are two deadlines coming mid-January and the beginning of February. Right. This is going to be a hell of a start to the new year uh, in the United States uh, Congress. Uh, Republicans in the House uh, insisted on kicking the can down the road to early January with the risk of this uh, two-tiered government uh, shutdown, four agencies um, starting January 19th to 17 days from now, and then another, uh, the rest of the government uh, in early February. And even though President Biden struck an agreement uh, with the previous Speaker of the House, uh, Kevin McCarthy, about how we would deal with the overall budget levels, uh, the new Speaker um, has refused to abide uh, by those uh, numbers and that agreement. So, you know, it, it's hard to know who to negotiate with uh, among House Republicans these days because you have an agreement one day uh, and it's gone the next. Now, of course, the other war, uh, which is getting worse and worse, is in Israel and Gaza, uh, the war with Hamas. Uh, first of all, the cabinet is meeting today, tonight, rather, in Israel, and they're talking about a post-war after they've achieved the goal of eliminating Hamas. I was talking to Mark Regev earlier, and he was saying that they are accomplishing a lot in that regard. Um, they have, a, well, they're denying that it was them, but there, there was a, a targeted assassination, surgical, they say, in Beirut, taking out uh, at least two, uh, two figures, including uh, the deputy Hamas leader of the political wing, in this case, which has been confirmed by Hamas now as well. Um, but is it, is it really even possible for Hamas to be totally eliminated, no matter how long this war takes? Well, Andrea, I think all of us support the objective of ending Hamas as a military threat uh, and making sure that they uh, can never govern Gaza again. And I think that is uh, an achievable uh, goal. Uh, as you know, the Biden administration has been trying to get the Netanyahu government to take a more targeted approach, uh, like this, um, uh, you know, like this strike um, against Hamas leadership uh, in Lebanon. Uh, but you still see unacceptably high numbers of civilian casualties uh, focused now in southern uh, Gaza and a humanitarian crisis that's getting worse. Uh, not better because it's so difficult to distribute humanitarian assistance uh, in Gaza, given uh, the ongoing uh, war. So it really is urgent uh, that uh, we take a humanitarian pause uh, to allow uh, humanitarian aid to be distributed. Food, water, medicine, uh, health experts are warning of the outbreak of disease that could kill thousands and thousands of more uh, of more people. Uh, and then you mentioned the, the post-war, the day after um, efforts, and President Biden has tried to create some light at the end of the tunnel uh, by talking about a two-state solution. Unfortunately, Prime Minister Netanyahu has is, is slammed the door shut uh, on that idea. So we have a lot to do with our Israeli partners uh, in order to address both the immediate crisis, but also create some hope uh, for the future. 